Hello everyone, it's Honey again. Um, I saw a video on YouTube from Theresa Aragona. I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. If I don't, I'm sorry. I apologize. But what she did is uh, making a grid and lines uh, on a jelly plate. Um, I put a link to her video below. Uh, this is her name. Theresa Aragona from Theresa's Crafty Cabana. I hope you can read it. Yeah. And what sh she does, she makes these kind of papers on a jelly plate. Well, I thought that's a wonderful idea. And thank you so much, Theresa of Theresa, it is, and um, I was uh, trying some things, where do I have them, here, I do it a bit different than she does, but all the credits are going to her, of course, I didn't uh, invent this, uh, I made this one, I made a lot more, but I like these the most. And this one, and this one, and here is another one. It's and this one, of course. Well, that was this way, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, I show you how I do it. Let's put this aside for a bit. I used a scoreboard. She does too. Uh, if you don't have a scoreboard, I think you can use a, a ruler and a um, stick or something like that. Maybe this one. Or, sorry, I have this tool you can make lines too just take a piece of paper oh no not this one of course just a piece of white paper and then a ruler and then you have to measure all the things but then you can just score a line like this and another one so you get little you see fold lines And you can make a grid paper or a lined paper too. But I will use the scoreboard. Uh, I use a bit thick paper, thicker paper than copy paper. I use, um, well, it's 120 gram per, uh, square meter. I don't know uh, how you. Uh, measure the weight of paper but that's how we do it so I get a piece of paper it's 120 grams I said yes uh, I use uh, a piece of masking tape painters tape to fix the paper on the board because when you are drawing or uh, score lines the paper will move so and then I start I can use this one with a half an inch you know a uh, 
a, a, a fourth, one, one, two, three, yeah, a fourth of an inch. Just like this. And then half an inch, three quarter of an inch. And an inch and so on. Oh. I use this better. Just two inch and the whole way through. She does uh, different kinds of papers. She does make a grid paper and wide lines. But I only will do this one. And the last line I damaged the paper a bit well I don't care So this is the grid paper, and not the grid, uh, the lines, paper with lines of a quarter inch. And that's how many centimeters I will measure that for the European. It's, well, you could do half six millimeters six millimeters yeah well if you see it i don't know if you see it but those are between the lines are the valleys and the lines itself are the mountains it's rising up the lines itself if you use the other side it will be the opposite <coughs> sorry then the lines are the valleys and the space between the lines are the mountains. Well, she used only this side in that video, but I'm going to use this side where the lines are the valleys. Yeah, so I get my jelly plate. Well, it's not a real one. It's a homemade one. I made it, well, I think it's more than 10 years ago. I made this jelly plate. It's, uh, it was damaged a lot and I melted again and made another one and melted again and made another one. That's why it's so dark and so grungy and well, but it still works. And I use, uh, I like grungy prints. So, um, put this away for a bit of space. Um, you can use different uh, color combinations. Um, what I liked was the blue one. I will get it. The blue one, the brown one. Oh, I like them all. I like this one too with uh, neon and blue. This is where the lines are mountains. But I will explain when I'm doing it. 
Yeah, these are all three, four. How much do I have? Four, three. With lines, where the lines are painted. And what will I use this time? Maybe I use some neon and blue. Uh, blue for the lines. Where is my... Here it is. I have very little space here. <laughs> so, a little blue for the lines. Oops. That's enough. Just some paint on my jelly. It's not the best one, I think, when you have a real jelly plate and good paint. It will work better, but I have an old jelly plate and old paint. Now I'm getting my lined, scored paper and um, I'm going to use where the lines are the valleys and the between the lines are the mountains. So I will turn it around and put it on there. What now will happen is because between the lines are the mountains, they will pull off the paint on the jelly plate. And where the valleys are, those are the lines, there will be paint left on the jelly plate. At least, that's what I'm hoping. Am I filming? Yeah, I think I am, yeah. So, now will I pull it off, and you see, there where the, between the lines, they pull off the paint. So you see little blue lines on here. Now I will Wait a bit till it's dry. So I'm going to wait. And I will test it with a tissue paper, piece of tissue paper. Just gently push it on and see if there is some paint on it. No, it's dry. Now I use my neon. I hope, yeah. So I said, uh, when you use a good jelly plate and good paint, <laughs> I think it's going to be better than this, you see? It's a bit old, but that's what I have. So I will try this. And I like the grunginess, so... But you saw I put, pulled some paint off. So... Now I hope I will pull everything off. Both, both layers. Pushing hard. Maybe I will buy a real jelly plate someday. But hey, I'm not often do this. But I liked the video so much. So I thought let's give it a try. It's always a surprise. 
I like it anyway. There are pieces not pulling off, you see. But I like it anyway. You can ride on it. It's nice. So, I will leave it this way. And now I will pull another one. I think maybe with white, perhaps. I'm getting some lines. And this one is empty, almost, almost empty. I don't think I'm get, getting many lines the second time. But who knows? Maybe now I'm pulling everything off. Firmly. Yeah. I think I pulled off most of it. And I like this one too. There are missing lines, but I can use pieces of this. I like it. I love it. Really, I do. Um. Maybe a bit of brown now. Like I said, it's old paint, <laughs> you see. It's very, it's, ugh. it's like poop. Bit of poop on my jelly plate. A bit too much. A lot of <laughs> so, um, I will use it the same way again. So between the lines are the mountains. So the lines will stay on the jelly plate and between the lines we'll pull it off, we'll, we'll pull the paint off. That's nice too. dry again doing the test I think it's a bit wet yeah it's a bit wet oh well it's okay now I guess um, will I use white? Yeah, I will use white. Come on. piece of paper. And you can um, do grid and uh, wider lines and you could 
she does the uh, when she um, makes her grid or uh, her lined papers on the scoreboard she does a vertical line too and you could do more vertical lines like a kind of ledger paper you could write on it maybe you could use an embossing folder not folder but oh I love this one too you see love it now I will make some uh, of one the way she does it um, maybe I should use brown then no not too Maybe I should use blue. You have to write on it, so it has to be a light color. Which colors shall I use? Well, I have a metallic paint here. I didn't use it before. It's a new one, I think. No, I used it once, I think. Just try it. Oops. It's a bit much. Ooh, it's very thin. I'm not sure if this is going to work. On this plate well I can try why not it's a bit metallic now I will take my scored paper and I will use the other side where the lines are the mountains and the space between the lines of the valleys this way oh I don't know if it's going to work but I'm afraid not but who knows it's always a surprise and I like to show it too when it goes wrong or not that well well let's see mm. it's not beautiful this one though is it's not that beautiful but hey there are lines So, let it dry. Well, I think it's dry enough. Yeah. Um, I have to have another color. Maybe blue will do. Could use green or... But let's try blue. Let's try. Because this is now the color of the lines, I hope. Because between the lines is the paint is still on there and I pulled the lines off the paint so when I'm using the second layer 
those will be the lines too because the gold paint or the metallic paint is well before that between the <laughs> the blue and the jelly plate well we'll see we'll see it's a bit complicated <laughs> When I explain it, it's complicated. When you do it, it, it's not, I think. So I will stop explaining. <laughs> well. Mm. It's not that well. You can't see it. It's more blue than... Well, this was... A failure. You can see lines, but not very clearly. Maybe uh, there is not much gold or metallic on the plate left. It's too too soft. But there are lines. Yeah. So um, I will uh, do some more and um, play a little bit and I show you uh, the results I tried a few more this was on a well a piece of green paper that was lying around well it's not very clear but there are lines you can write on it so that will work I made this one with the same paint as uh, with the blue one. Which one was that? Uh, not this one. Oh, this one. It's a bit wet. Well, you couldn't see it so much with the metallic paint and the blue one. And this one I made with the metallic paint and the white one, I think. Well. It's not very good, but I can use it. This blue one, this one I can use too. The blue one, I like that one, I like this one. And I like this one. You could use them... Uh, as journaling spots in your journals, of course, journaling cards, the back of the tag of a tag, like this one too. These are uh, where the lines are white, and the space between the lines is paint, colored paint. This is my best, I think. I like the grunginess. Here is missing a lot, but I can use some piece. A journaling page, you can write on it. This one too, I like this one too. Well, this is not very well. And this one is okay too. Um, like I said, when you use good paint and a good jelly plate, well, you get better other results. Uh, I recommend to watch Therese's video, link below, and uh, please be kind to her. Please subscribe to my channel and her channel. And uh, I thank you for watching. Bye bye.